Don't wait for Welcome to another JK Deal Reveal. And today, tonight, we're very, very excited because... Because... We have Jane here. <laughs> because we're talking about an amazing triplex in Michigan. If you don't know that these deal exists, they do exist. And we're super excited to show you one in Michigan. That's tonight. And also, we are super excited for what's coming tomorrow, which is the U.S. Real Estate Investing Blueprint, and this is the last one of the year, so we're very excited. It's the last iteration of this blueprint, and it's the last time that we do it this year, so we're super excited to host it tomorrow, three days. It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It is recorded. It's everything that you need to get to, to know to get started in U.S. real estate, whether you want to buy or build a portfolio or you want to buy that first or that next vacation home. This is going to get you started the right way. And let me tell you, had we had something like that when we first got started, it would not have taken us three years to become financially free. And three years, that's just three years. Imagine what you can do with a blueprint that really teaches you the ropes from start to finish and hands you on a silver platter, the people that you need, the attorney that protects your assets, the financing people that make sure that you can buy properties in the U.S. with financing um, what else? How to unlock your RSPs from Canada without breaking them. That's pretty freaking amazing. And a bunch of strategies, creative financing, everything in between, how to protect you and your assets, what you build, what you buy, contracts. It goes through everything, how to find deals. Everything's there. It's three days. It's recorded. If you can't make it live, it is recorded, like I said, so you'll have access to it for a full year. And this is, like I said, the last time that we're hosting the Blueprint of the Year, and it's going to be fantastic. So we're very so excited about it. I can't the, believe it's tomorrow already. Tomorrow. <laughs> the Blueprint will never be the same again. Nope. Life will never be the same again. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a deal reveal like we do every week. Uh, this particular deal was submitted by Adam. So thank you very much, Adam, who's looking to actually take this deal down himself in Michigan. So uh, let's not steal it from Adam. He's uh, he's worked hard on it. But what we're going to do, what Janie is going to do while I'm going through the deal reveal, Janie is going to be kind of pointing out some elements that I go through in the deal reveal. And Janie is going to point out other things that we're going to cover during the blueprint throughout this. Because obviously the deal reveal is for you to lightning fast, identify an opportunity and not waste hours and hours analyzing a deal. That's fine. But what if this actually does check out as a deal on our deal reveal? What are the other steps? How did you find the deal to begin with? How did Adam find the deal? Like those are obviously some of the things that we're going to cover in tomorrow and over the weekend during the blueprint. And so as I'm doing the deal reveal, Janie, you just pause me. You stop me and you say, oh, this, for example, we're going to talk about this. We're going to do that during the blueprint. How's that sound? That's good to know. Good to know? Right. All right, I'm putting her on the spot. We don't get it often. <laughs> Perfect. So let us get started. So we're talking about this three-day that's starting tomorrow. And we're excited, as I said, because Adam submitted this particular deal in Adrian, Michigan. Janie mentioned it. It is a triplex. And that's not a typo. Now, how did Adam find that triplex? Obviously, he did attend the blueprint. <laughs> he did it's attend the blueprint. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Perfect. So this is a triplex that Adam found thanks to the blueprint. And it's not a typo, $58,000 for this triplex. And we're going to see if this is a deal or no deal. So at any point, uh, you can chime in. You say if it's a deal or no deal according to you, but let's get started. All right. So very first thing we're going to do, we're going to go into the Google and we're going to type in the properties addressed address followed by Trulia. Um, I like to start here to start getting some pictures, get a feel for the property, see if, for example, look at this, there's been a price drop um, recently from 70,000 to 58,000. That's an interesting piece of data. 
And I like the format that Trulia gives properties in. So I go here to get the address. I take, get to take a look. So yeah, there's a little bit of landscape on the outside needed. The siding isn't new. It's not terrible, terrible, but um, it, can, it can use some love. And what else do we have? Real quick, I'm just looking, looking for big, big problems. We don't see much of the roof, the siding. There's a pole barn out there. You know, it's not the Taj Mahal for sure. And now we're getting onto the inside. Look at those floors, definitely need some love. In general, the paint seems okay from what I'm seeing so far, but obviously, nope, it will need to be touched. Um, that kitchen, what year is that kitchen from, Jamie? 1970. Welcome to 1970. Yeah. Uh, again, floors pretty much throughout would probably be needed to look at. Um, walls, hit or miss, depending on which one you're looking at. So it's not turnkey, as we can see. We see radiator, ra radiators here. So there's a boiler system. If uh, it's still functional. If it's still functional. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't see any vents or anything. So most likely at this price point. Uh, but just generally speaking, it's looking primarily cosmetic, right? Large cosmetic work here. What do you think, Janie? <laughs> oh, there might be missing some kitchen. So a little bit more yeah. than cosmetic happening. Yeah. Okay. The roof was, yeah. Again, we don't know about the mechanicals. We don't know about the roof, the foundation. Um, we haven't inspected the pole barn. But just from what we see, we're sizing up the size of the project. So, Janie, you're looking at just these pictures here. How much work do you see just from the pictures, not the unknowns that we that an inspection would obviously uncover for us later down the line? When you're looking at a pretty big triplex here, you're probably looking at about three to four weeks worth of work cosmetically excluding anything that's bigger, any bigger repairs, for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, how did Adam find this deal? Adam, how did you find the deal? How did you find the deal? Did you, did you make a connection with a gatekeeper, perhaps? Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Jim, you want to talk about that? Talk how maybe Trina, another one of our community members, was who attended the Blueprint, is becoming a gatekeeper for other members of the community, so Trina, who knows this market very well, who's been doing some marketing, who's been looking at deals herself, she's now a wholesaler in this deal. So she found this deal, but Trina's more in Ohio. This is a deal in Michigan, but nonetheless came across a deal like this one where someone like Adam is interested in potentially buying it. So what she would do is she would, she would sell basically the rights to the paper. So she puts it under contract and Adam would buy it from Trina, who then basically buys it from the seller. So it's it's co-wholesale or wholesaling, depending on who's involved in the, in, in the process. But that's something that is, it's creative financing, uh, wholesaling. And we teach that on the third day, I believe it's the third day of the blueprint, right? Yep. Which is basically making money with no money. So people that think that you need money to make money, that's absolutely false. Wholesaling, for example, is a great strategy for people that have little to no money to get started with because it doesn't cost anything or very little to put a property like this under contract, turn around and sell it to someone who actually wants it and make a profit in between. And if you want to know more about that, uh, we go into details into it, into the blueprint. But essentially, it's making money with no money, which is pretty cool. So it's a creative way of making money in real estate. So awesome for Trina being the gatekeeper, the facilitator of the transaction, the transaction engineer. And congratulations for Adam, who obviously is excited about buying a triplex for $58,000. Who would not be? So um, let's continue. So we want to follow as much as possible our two golden rules of real estate. Rule number one is buy at a discount. So we have to know is this triplex worth 58,000? Is it worth 70? Is it worth 120? I don't know right now. Every market is different. So one place you can go is Zillow and look for the Zestimate here right on the screen. Now, there's not enough data in Zillow to pull a Zestimate. So unfortunately, we're going to have to go to other websites. So we can go, for example, to realtor.com and similarly put in the property's address and Hopefully, their analytics will, first of all, find the property. Let's see if we can find it. Now, obviously, cause is going really fast, and you're seeing a couple of websites. There's a ton of websites in the U.S. that we use for various reasons. And going through what a property is worth, where to find properties, how to evaluate them, 
how to see all of that. We do, obviously, we do that in details at the blueprint. So you know exactly how to do that step by step. And eventually it'll take you less than 15 minutes like Kyle does to actually look at a deal and say deal or no deal. So you get to do all of that in the blueprint, step by step. Beautiful. So um, here I'm on realtor.com, which sometimes uh, offers the value of the property based on their algorithms as well. I am not seeing it here. So we're going to have to basically go to nearby home values to see what other properties nearby are selling for with similar beds and baths. So we got a big range happening here. It's not going to give a whole lot of information uh, lightning quick here because here's uh, our current property, a 5.3 for 58,000, but there's others for 175,000, a 5.3. Here's a 4.2 for 142. There's some big properties, um, high value properties nearby, but these are all indications of value. We obviously are going to have to spend a little bit more time, maybe reach out to a realtor in your market to have them pull some official comps, sold comps, properties that sold nearby recently that are very similar to this mm -hmm. to confirm the value of this property before you actually buy it. So that's that. So uh, Zillow also offers properties for sale or sold nearby, like similar homes here. We see a 4-2 for sale for 50000 another for eighty five. As much as possible, we want to be close to the 5-3 and a triplex. So here's one uh, potentially for $70,000. Uh, but there doesn't seem to be all that many 5-3s in all of the comps that we're quickly seeing here. The idea of the first check is to very, very quick. I'm not spending an hour getting a sense getting a sense that there seems to be properties in the 70-ish range. There's a couple of outliers at 140. Hopefully, um, they end up being comparable. But it's looking like the bulk of it's probably going to be in the 60 to 70, maybe 80,000 range once fixed up. That seems to be really quick what I'm seeing for this particular market. Am I going to put my hand in the fire for about that? No. But it's the sense that I'm getting. So that's rule number one is buy at a discount. When you buy real estate, buy at a discount. Second golden rule is buy cash flow. Buy cash flow. And so we want to see what type of rents could we get out of this property. So we have another website which we cover in depth and others at the blueprint. And it's called Rental Meter. And so here I'm going to go in and see how much rent I can get from a two bedroom because this is a triplex. Basically, it's a two bedroom, two bedroom, one bedroom. And so there's two two bedrooms and one one bedroom. So I'm going to basically use this website to see what a two bedroom rents for. And it's probably somewhere in the 750 range from what I see here. 750 times two, we're at 1500. And there's an extra one bedroom to come in here. And the one bedroom is probably in the six. 675 range. So we can take out a calculator and do some simple math. Let me pull this up in front of you here. So we had 750 plus 750 plus 675. So monthly, there'd be about 2,175 coming in from this property. In most years, we have 12 months. And so there's about $26,000 a year <laughs> of gross income. And then as I show in the deal reveal, which will go again in the blueprint, I'll talk about the quick trick, the 50% rule, which basically says that on most of these lower value Midwest properties, you can have about, you have about 50% of the income that goes to expenses. Some markets, it's even, it's even less than that, but to be conservative, 50% slash that in two, and this new number, 13,000, half of your gross income is your net income if you bought this property all cash. So if Adam goes in here, buys the property for 58,000, maybe puts in how much? 22 on the low end? Yeah, a little more than that. On the low end, just to patch it up, assuming all the mechanicals are good and everything through and through. Yeah, all, everything went up though, Kyle. It did. It did, yeah. Now I'm thinking probably more 40. 42? 42. Let's put 42. We like that number. It's, 
nice so if we if he buys it for 58 and it puts 42 into it all in for 100 look how Janie wanted to give you some round numbers <laughs> so all in this project for a hundred thousand assuming that's the renovation cost well there's thirteen thousand coming in net off a one hundred thousand dollar investment so we divide our thirteen thousand by a hundred thousand and we basically end up with a 13 cap property a 13 percent return on that money that's being invested, that 100,000 that goes in, 13% of it comes back every year from cash flow. So this is what we're looking at here. That's cool, because that's if he buys cash. Now we do have strategies to get even more money on our money, make more money, more, more money on our money through different strategies, which we obviously teach in the blueprint. So that's super, super, super interesting um, to use those strategies to pull out your money and get almost infinite cash flow or cash on cash returns, which we go through in depth at the blueprint and how you can make your money, how it allowed us to go from zero doors in the US in the first year to nine doors or eight doors the first year by recycling our capital over and over again, even though we only started with $39,000 US. So there are strategies that are very easily used in the US compared to Canada. And obviously we go into a lot of depth into that, into the blueprint. Yeah. Beautiful. And Adam's actually on the call today. So if, uh, you know, if, if people thought we invented Adam, no, he's there. And he's basically said, he just said that Trina found the deal through a gatekeeper who was her contractor. All right. So we were really seeing the net, the network um, that's at play in this community and this community's communities, because Trina is basically co-wholesaling or working with another co-wholesaler to ultimately Adam being the potential end buyer on this deal. And so everybody and Adam, gets to win. Adam is saying uh, that he also would plan to rent the Red Barn separately. And the chat is now enabled, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Yes, right. And Teresa just says that too. The barn yeah, can be rented too. Absolutely. 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 Perfect. It might be rented to, to one of the tenants, for example, if they wanted more room, it could be, um, there's a whole bunch of different opportunities. There. But honestly, this type of, of opportunity, Kyle and I bought our first triplex in, in Cleveland seven or eight years ago for $32,000, similar to this deal now with a little bit of appreciation, it's a little bit more expensive, but similar. And it's probably one of the best investments we've done. <laughs> $58,000 for a triplex. A you triplex. Put in, you put in $40,000, $50,000 to you know, put it nice. You put some little, you know, a little nice backsplash. It doesn't have to be very expensive stuff, but people like nice stuff. So you just upgrade it a little bit and you can go get that higher of 750 on a two bedroom, maybe 800, 825, 850. If you just spruce it up a little bit more, people do like nice places to live. So I would highly recommend to put in a little bit of, a little bit of a uh, shine. I don't know how to say it. Shazam. But, uh, shazam. Shazam. <laughs> you know, and uh, making it really nice for, for people. Janie brings a really good point. I'm going to reiterate with some different words. Um, just, no, it's not that you didn't say it well. It's just different angles, different attacks. Um, basically, I ran the numbers on the deal reveal with the lower end to be conservative. And because I had in my mind that this is a low value property. And so one of the options as a strategy is to do as little as possible to just get it livable and get I don't like that though. It's it's one strategy to do. Janie certainly doesn't like that. And so maybe not 22, maybe 32,000 we can get that type of approach in. So but but if you put in a little bit more, if you end up putting 42 or whatever whatever it needs to be now above market as a as a product, above average. You just have to be careful because obviously it's not worth probably 250,000. So you don't want to put in $200,000. So you have to make choices as to what you're going to put in to make it look really nice and make it, you know, do a good renovation, solid renovation, make it look nice without going over budget. And that's really important. Yeah. But honestly, I prefer putting in a little bit more, making it look really nice. It attracts better tenants, higher retention, all around just a better investment in long term. Just don't go overboard with the renovations because it's easy to spend a hundred, two hundred thousand dollars in properties if you play the what if games or another what ifs but the uh, uh, while i'm at it while i'm at it game yeah. yeah while i'm at it i'll change the tub and while i'm at it now you know you can glaze the tub instead of changing the tub for example there's things and strategies that you can use to spruce it up and make it look really nice without you know breaking the bank exactly and this is amongst other things things that we talk about in depth during the blueprint basically 
what type of renovations should you look at? What size of renovation? Um, we, we dive deeper in how to really make sure that we can, we can size up the value of a property so that we're not you know, putting more money than the property's worth, even though we might be able to get an extra $100 of rent per month. As we see on the screen here, even if we do put in a good amount and make it above average as a property, we're going to go from 675 to 825. So is 150 more a month worth an extra $50,000 per unit on your triplex? I'm exaggerating, but like there's a point where that little bump isn't worth it clearly and we're overpaying for the value on the property itself. Um, and uh, Trina is also on the call as well, which is fantastic. And she says there's also potentially an opportunity to do some short-term rental in one of the units here. Now, we didn't even look at the short-term rental because, well, just time constraints, but that's something else we cover in the blueprint, how to look at a property from a short-term rental perspective, how to run the numbers and the expense ratios on short-term rentals, and basically making sure that we're in the good type of area for a short-term rental because you don't want to be in the hood um even if the numbers look great um you'll get uh, you'll get problems if you're trying to run a an airbnb uh, in the hood of detroit most likely yeah so um so that's that so that's basically um our deal reveal for today so let us know is this a deal or no deal is th is there is there juice in this lemon can we make some lemonade or are we passing along? AZ says it's a deal. Fantastic. Trina also said the contractor wants to rent out one of the units. How interesting is that? Nice. <laughs> Trina says it's a deal. Uh, Dora says it's a deal. Fantastic. Yes, Trina. I'll let you know. He wants the barn. <laughs> yeah, contractor, contractor wants the barn. Wants the barn. Maybe to store some of his tools. I like uh, it. Dwight says deal. Ye Yemi. Yemi says deal. Gunner. Gunner. Fantastic. Yeah. I love it. And I, I'd say deal too. I like this one. I like those triplexes. I think I think there is uh, uh, there's definitely opportunity in here. I'm not saying sign it and buy it tomorrow. There's some due diligence that we need to do here. But as a matter of like moving forward, having real conversations, real negotiations, and really getting it under contract to officially start the real due diligence for the property. I don't know what's happening in the chat, but. <laughs> This is a deal for me too to move forward. What do we have well, in the chat? Teresa says, you know, who's Adam's uh, better half says, I think it's a deal. I'm nervous. <laughs> well, and then Adam says, hopefully it's a deal because the seller just accepted my offer. Woo! So congratulations <laughs> to you both. Congrats, Adam. Congrats, Teresa. Jerry Doris is amazing. Congrats, Adam from AZ. It's amazing. That's, that's great. And, and you see it like this is like we didn't know. Adam sent this deal. Hey, can you do a deal reveal? Says absolutely, Adam. My, our pleasure. And like I, we didn't know that you had you put in an offer. We didn't know you got it accepted. But these are deals. Like these are real deals. Every Thursday we come on here and we show you deals that are out there. Community members who are taking action, who are doing now for tomorrow, and um, it basically starts here. And tomorrow it can continue if you haven't already attended the blueprint, or if you have partners or investors or family members, anybody who you think would benefit from having this foundational training to work with you, work alongside you, to basically do this thing called U.S. real estate the way we've done it, Adam is doing it, Trina's doing it, Dwight and Dora and AZ, all these and the, the, the hundreds and thousands of other community members who have done it over the years with us, this is the time to do it. So the blueprint starting tomorrow, 9 a.m. How do people sign up? Very simple. You can either go to www.n4t.club slash blueprint. We'll write it in the chat. It, if You can also comment. If you're on Facebook, you can write in the comments below. And myself, Kyle, or one of our team members will reach out to you. That's very easy. If you've ever done the blueprint before, amazing. Review it. You still have access to it. If you want to join this one, I might be very generous with you. So just send us an email or a little comment on Facebook, and I'll give you a, a promo code. And this is the last one of the year. What will you learn in the blueprint? Anything from how to get started in the US, so how to find deals, where to look for deals, how to evaluate deals. What's your story? So how to position yourself when you actually talk to sellers? Uh, what else, Kyle? We're going to talk about different strategies to refinance your money, to get the most money out of your pockets, most 
what, what's the word I'm looking for? The most uh, bang for your buck. Bang for your buck. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to bring on our celebrity attorney who talks about asset protection because even though the U.S. is similar to Canada, it is not the same country, and we do have to protect our assets in the U.S. correctly, the right way. And we bring him on, just him alone. One consultation with him, the blueprint is cheaper than a consultation with him. So he comes on for 90 minutes. He talks about asset protection. He goes into taxation uh, as well for Canadians. So he's he's incredible. We bring on a broker, one of our brokers that allows financing for Canadians. And it's so much easier. Kyle and I, we're looking at different properties here. We're, in, we're sitting right now in Quebec. We're looking at different cottages to buy. And just the fact of thinking refinance in Quebec, we're like, ugh. They almost want to know the second, the name of our second son that's not even born yet. We don't even have one. So they want to know every single thing. It's just crazy. But in the U.S., it's so easy. And we teach you how to do that in the blueprint. They base it on the income of the property. And once again, we'll go in details in the blueprint. What else? We do creative financing. So we'll do wholesaling, how to buy with little to no money out of your pocket, how to negotiate deals and position yourself to be a golden buyer and that's that's pretty amazing we fought properties with zero money down over the years many times we've bought a mobile home park a 56 lot mobile home park with two thousand dollars out of pocket we've bought a domain even in quebec here with zero dollars out of pocket uh we're potentially buying a domain here again um not too far away this works both ways we prefer us real estate because everything is simpler and we love the opportunities but nonetheless we're, when we're in canada we also do a little bit of canadian real estate and we're negotiating a 50 percent down deal um well 50 percent carry and then a 50 percent with partners so for us zero percent down deal which is really cool and the us the same thing the property that we bought in florida this year we actually use our rsps the the rsps that were which we thought were locked in for life are now in the U.S. We didn't break them. That strategy is really, really cool. And we get to keep our RSPs and you'll get to know how to do that. And we bought our Magical Muggle Mansion in Florida, our Harry Potter house, which is doing pretty darn well. And that's really cool because it's a vacation home near Disney, Florida. And so there's all kinds of strategies. We're going to go into short-term rentals, obviously, how to evaluate short-term rentals, how to rent short-term rentals, um, management, we're going to talk about long term management and short term management, how to do all this business remotely, and how you don't have to be scared. In this market, there's money to be made in up markets and in down markets. There's money everywhere. You just have to know which strategies to use when and surround yourself and support and well, surround yourself uh, with people that that are doing it. Don't don't stay by yourself. There's a community. And we talk to each other, we raise each other up, we help each other, and we get deals done. And I want to say one last thing because it's super timely. Uh, a lot of you might be have noticed, probably everyone or hopefully everyone on the call, noticed that interest rates have been increasing. And that's created additional pressure in the market, especially for investors, because the numbers might have worked at 5% financing, but now, oh crap, what happens if it's 6, 7, 8, 9%? And then suddenly, where are the margins and where's the cash flow? And Listen, pressure in the market it creates new opportunities. And we're going to bring on members of our community who are getting into deals with some incredible financing terms right now. For example, Sandra and Johnny, who are part of our community, uh, just, uh, well, this today, actually, they are signing on a, an offer at 2% financing. In? In Florida. In Florida. Pretty cool. So because of the increase in interest rates new opportunities for creative financing are coming up that previously were much harder to to attain because there wasn't that pressure in the marketplace pushing on sellers the market is turning from a seller's market to a buyer's market and so properties are staying longer on market uh, property values are decreasing or stagnating sellers are getting antsy that oh no the nice big bubble it might be coming to an end it might be bursting who knows there's all this equity that if they don't cash out now they might lose what happens in the future no one knows and so they're willing to sell at a discount sell on terms get creative with some real estate and that's what a big part well, a big part of d3 of our blueprint is about 
We're going to cover at least 19 different ways that you can get into property, create your own financing on these deals, and basically negotiate the terms that win for everybody. But regardless, guys, you make your money when you buy, not when you sell. So when you buy right, you'll be fine. And it just reminds me, when we first got started almost 10 years ago, the market was similar to what it is now. Yep. And the interest rates were very similar to what they are now. So it's, you know, if we compare apples to apples, it's very similar. The prices went up a little bit with, you know, with time, but in general, everything's very similar. And even if we paid 9%, 10% on a long-term uh, long term interest on our mortgages, we still cash flow because we know how to evaluate a deal before buying. And that's what's very important for you too, is to, to know how to buy and to buy right from the start because you make your money when you buy, not when you sell. And then you capitalize. So you buy whatever the interest rate is, it's locked in for 30 years. So if you make money now because you did it right and you, you, you calculated everything from the start and you make money today, you will still make money in 15, 20, 30 years from now because rents, well, they go up and your mortgage will stay stagnant, will stay the same. So whatever you're paying today, you'll pay later. Moreover, whenever the market does come out, you know, come to cycle out and the interest rates eventually may come back down, that's when you capitalize with appreciation, with the money that your tenants pay down your mortgage with, and then you, ba you may basically pull out equity at that point and decrease interest rates. So there's a lot of things that can be done. A lot of creative things are happening in the market that will keep coming up. But regardless, you make your money when you buy and not when you sell. And you can do this whether you go with traditional financing or with creative financing. Everything can be done so long as you know how to. And that's what the blueprint's about. So voila, if you have any questions, I will recommend that you comment in the Facebook comments below. Myself or my team members will reach out to you. If you're looking to join us for the Blueprint tomorrow, it is really a lot of fun. It is recorded. So if you can't make it all live, that's okay. You'll get the recording and you'll have access to it for a full year. So www.n4t.club slash Blueprint. Anything else? That's beautiful. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for your time. It's time to do. Now, now for, for tomorrow, tomorrow for, for the lifestyle, lifestyle you deserve. deserve. All right, guys. Have a good evening, everyone. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Cheers. Bye.